Good morning students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. When our topic is pavement material and its characterization. When in today we will talk on the quality control and quality assurance plan for the highway construction. Okay. So starting with the first one that is what is quality control or quality assurance plan. Quality assurance plan is the methodology that is selected for ensuring that the project incorporates all the elements that are needed for the successful design, construction and the maintenance of a project. Since project varies with the different different scope, the quality assurance plan has to be project specific. Okay, so the QAP that is quality assurance plan should deal with all the aspect those are selection and testing of materials acceptance criteria guidelines for non-conforming material and works and the documentation okay so considering all this thing the quality assurance plan can be established can be executed Okay, so starting with the first stage that is the selection of material. All construction materials to be used in the permanent works are to be sampled jointly by the consultant and contractor prior to the commencement of the work. This include sampling of materials that has to be tested for proposing the approval of the material source as well as the sampling of the material for approval of the individual construction material. In this both case, for each instance, the contractor must give the notification of a request for the sampling to the consultant in advance. All the sampling is to be carried out in accordance with the instructions to be given by the consultant. The sampling procedure are to be followed as per the recognized guidelines of good engineering practices so these guidelines include that first is obtaining samples from at least three different different areas so wherever you are collecting the samples not only at one spot you have to collect three different different samples or three different specimens for that you can choose the different places different locations of that particular area okay the second is that ensuring that the sampled materials and the locations are typical for the material that has to be tested. Also, we have to ensure that all the overburden is removed within the stockpiles rather than from the surface. Also, we have to ensure that sufficient quantities are sampled to enable all the taste to the conducted plus additional material to be stored for subsequent tasting if required also ensure that each sample bag is to be marked both the side inside and outside so that you can identify what sample has what property okay so after collecting the sample after selection of material next step that is the tasting of material it is the responsibility of the contractor to ensure that the laboratory is proficiently protected at all the times of the day and night. Okay. It is cleaned daily. It has to be properly maintained. Okay. The testing equipments and apparatus are to be initially approved and then subsequently periodically checked by the consultant to ensure the proper operation, proper accuracy and correct calibration and complete confirmation to all the specifications required. Likewise, all the details, testing procedures in the specification and procedures instructed by the material engineer as the part of the quality control and quality assurance plan are to be strictly followed by the contractor. The consultant is to supervise, monitor and check all the aspect of testing procedure including sample storage preparation testing and analysis and 
final the report of tasting result okay so in the tasting of material the major part is the inspection that has to be conducted by the supervisor frequently okay after that we have to check the acceptance criteria is matching or not okay so the third is acceptance criteria all materials included in the construction work for which the quality control test are specified and for which the approval by the engineer has been previously given that all things are to be inspected properly and checked for the acceptability in the accordance with the specification that is required in the guidelines now the kind of taste and the frequency of the taste should be conformed to the minimum quality control tasting requirements that is as per the most specification okay sampling and tasting should be in accordance with all the relevant to the indian standard methods now the next that is the guidelines for non conforming material and box it is necessary that the materials and workmanship conform with the contract requirements and ideally non conforming work shall be rejected whenever the work falls short of the requirement the matter shall also be brought to the notice of the employer but the special difficulties arise in the case of some items uh, of work such as the uh, concrete okay where the non conformance may only be known after few days okay when the concrete get its strength when uh, concrete get cured okay so after that you can identify that whether there is any problem or not okay in such cases acceptance after the repair and review for adequacy is feasible therefore separate procedures are laid out for some of the non conforming situations in case of feasible items do not meet the requirement after such a repair or the reviews the non conforming item should be rejected and it is also necessary to refer the higher authority concerned in certain cases of non conformance to seek the advice and guidance after this the documentation part comes where the contractor have to submit the final report to the higher authority okay upon the completion of each contract section the completion of the project there are several documents that has to be prepared and submitted to the employer and those documents are uh, drawings quantity and uh, amounts contractor documentation contract documentation final completion reports etc although those final documents are to be submitted at the end of the contract section they have to be prepared as work progresses and finalized when the works are near to the completion okay so this is what the quality assurance plan formation okay so now we will talk on some bituminous volume matrix well the first is theoretical specific gravity of the mix okay the theoretical maximum specific gravity that is the gt of a mixture is the specific gravity that excluding the air voids in the particular mix okay thus theoretical if all the air voids were eliminated from the mix sample the combined specific gravity of the remaining aggregate and the bituminous binder would be theoretical maximum specific gravity and that is been uh, calculated that is been obtained from the formula that gt is equals to w1 plus w2 plus w3 plus wp upon w1 by g1 plus w2 by g2 plus w3 by g3 plus wb by gp where w1 is nothing but the weight of coarse aggregate in the total mix w2 is the weight of fine aggregates in the total mix w3 is the weight of filler material so weight of filler in the total mix and at last wb is the weight of 
bitumen in total mix where in all g value is specified as a specific gravity of that particular quantity okay after that we have the bulk after that we have bulk specific gravity of the compacted mix that is denoted as a gm now the ratio of the mass in the air of unit volume of a permeable material at a stated temperature to the mass in air of an equal volume of water at a stated temperature this volume is used to determine the weight per unit volume of the compacted mixture it is very important to measure the bulk specific gravity that is g m and that should be as accurate as possible okay so the value of gm is denoted as gm and it can be found out by the formula gm is equals to wm upon wm minus w w wherein the wm is the weight wherein wm is the weight of mix in the air and w w is the weight of mix in the water also the difference between wm and ww is the volume of the mix sometimes to get the accurate bulk specific gravity the specimen is to be coated with thin film of paraffin wax when the weight is taken in the water thus however requires to consider the weight and volume of wax in the calculation the next volumetric that is air voids in percentage that is vv now the total volume of the small pockets of air between the coated aggregates particles throughout the compacted paving mixture expressed as a percentage of the bulk volume of compacted paving mixture the amount of air voids in a mixture is extremely important and closely related to stability and the durability well air voids is the percentage of air voids by volume in the specimen and this is given this can be found out by vv is equals to gt minus gm upon gt into 100 so vv will be in the percentage here gt is the theoretical specific gravity and gm is the bulk specific gravity of the mix the next that is the percentage volume of bitumen the volume of bituminous binder in the mix that has been absorbed into the pore structure of the aggregate this is not accounted for by the effective asphalt content the volume of bitumen that is vb is a percentage of volume of the bitumen to the total volume and it is given by vb is equals to wb upon gb upon w1 plus w2 plus w3 plus wb by g m all the notation are already described above okay so by doing this calculation you will get the percentage volume of bitumen that is vb in the mixture the next volumetric that is the void in mineral aggregates that is denoted as a vma the volume of intergranular void space between the aggregate particles of a compacted paving mixture that includes the air voids and the effective asphalt content it expressed as the percentage of the total volume of the specimen when the void in mineral aggregates is too low there is not enough room in the mixture to add the sufficient asphalt binder to adequately coat the individual aggregate particle also mixes with a low vma are more sensitive to small changes in asphalt binder content excessive vma will cause an unacceptably low mixture stability generally a minimum void mineral aggregate is specified and 
a maximum void mineral aggregates may or may not be specified. Void in mineral aggregate is the sum of air voids and the volume of bitumen and is calculated from VV plus VV that is the addition of volume in air void, percentage of air voids and the percentage of bituminous content. Okay, after that the voids filled with the bitumen that is VFB, the portion of the void in mineral aggregate that contain asphalt binder. This represents the volume of the effective asphalt content and it can also be described as the percentage of the volume of the voids in mineral aggregate. VFB is inversely related to the air voids. As the air voids decrease, VFB increase. Voids filled with the bitumen is the mineral aggregate framework filled with the bitumen and is calculated as the VV by VMA into 100. Okay, this is a schematic diagram of the air voids filling the bitumen, VMA, VFB. Everything is mentioned in this figure. Okay. With this, I am concluding today's lecture. Thank you so much students for your kind attention. We will see you in the next lecture.